Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to Beauty News. This is the 23rd of April edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products. Um, it doesn't look like we have any serious updates. There is something we might gloss over again when we get to Colourpop, but we did talk about it last week. So we don't really need to like update it significantly, which means we can get into the new makeup. But, but before we do that, what was our emoji riddle last week? I don't remember. Oh, that's right. It was... Room, something, and twins. Yes. That'll be and on the screen. Yes. Yes, guys, you, you did get it right. It was um, KKW's... iDuos. Uh, iDuos. That's it. And that, that shitty brush. Back and brush. Room. Yeah, and the reason why brush. we had to pick twins or two people was because there's no emoji for, like, two of anything. Two. Besides no. people. A lot of people are guessing the jewel-ended brush, which is close enough. You got it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Award for you. Well okay. done. Okay, let's get into the new news. So we've got something here from Benefit. These are new face palettes, and they're called... Oh, they did not call them that, did they? They did. Horoscope. Mm hmm Why? I don't fucking know. I... It has nothing to do with horoscope or microscope or telescope. All it is is four pans. They're aimed around the... There's an earth angel, air goddess, and fire queen. So it's earth, air, fire for the star signs. But where the fuck is the water one? Yeah. I'm sorry, Benefit. I can't with you. Okay, for starters, there's supposed to be four, which is why they're called fourscopes. And basically they contain like four face colored powders. Uh, earth angel has hula, Georgia, honeymoon and cookie. Air goddess has dandelion, solstice, Georgia and blaze. Fire has hula. Starlet, Solstice, and Blaze. Question, is Solstice a new one? I think so. I feel like I haven't heard of that before. And it's a lot and deeper than what they usually go, and that's yeah. one criticism that a lot of people often have about their blushes is that they're just mm -hmm. not they're, – they're very, very light and not very pigmented, so they yeah. only work on a certain section of the population – so it looks like they're trying to inject a bit of deeper blushes into here. Deep, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's what gets me. Let's just look at the Fire Queen one for a second. Mm -hmm. So it's got Hula and it's got Solstice. Now, I agree. Um, Benefits blushes are quite light and light in pigmentation. Um, and if Solstice is a deeper color designed for people with deeper skin, that's absolutely fantastic. But Hula is not going to work for them because Hula is a white girl bronzer. Yeah, and there's two deeper ones they released a couple of years ago so they can actually put deeper Hulas in there. Yes. Yeah, so it's not super Wee. well thought out in, in that regard. I still feel like the people that design these are clueless. Like the cogs are turning up there but no one's actually in control. I now, do want to say something positive about these, though, before we move on, because yeah. my, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit more positive. Um, I one thing mm -hmm. I do like about these, okay, the pans will stress people out because there's big pans and small pans, and it, it's not lined up, and it's a bit annoying. But I do mm -hmm. quite like how they've proportioned the bronzer versus the highlighter and whatnot. I feel yeah. like more brands need to realize that. You know, not everyone uses massive pans of highlighters. So I do like that there's a better distribution going on in terms of how much product you put on your face. But I do mm -hmm. think this is missing the mark for sure. Uh, this is available now in France and Germany, but there's no confirmed launch date for the rest of the world. But that's okay because they can keep it. That's true. All right, before we do move on, I just want to say quickly that I looked up Solstice. And um, it does seem to be something that only pops up in these palettes. So you'll find that there's going to be a big push. As soon as this is released in the US and um, probably the UK and whatnot, they're going to really push this release push, big yeah. time. And the texture of it looks like a cream. It looks very different to right. the other blushes. Like I'm just looking at the, the photos here, but you can see the pan that doesn't look as powdery. It looks a little bit domed. 
So I think it is a yeah. different formulation. All right, we've got a new collection from Bobby Brown. It's not quite available yet. It looks like it's going to be releasing sometime in May, but you'll have to check your local stores to see where it's launching in your country. Uh, this is the Glowing Pink Collection. So it's inspired by their best-selling highlighting shade, Pink Glow, and they've just sort of lent into that color story and made a collection around it. So in this collection, there's an eyeshadow palette. This is the Pink Glow Luxe eyeshadow palette. It's essentially a quad and it's very muted. Uh, there's like a iridescent white, a couple of muted shimmery pinks and a brown. So very rosy toned. Then we have the face highlighter in Pink Glow. This is a liquid highlighter. So it's new, it's sort of like the same shade as the pressed, but in a liquid version. Then there's the highlighting powder in Pink Glow. It's got limited edition packaging and there's a full size and also a mini size. Then there's the uh, extra lip tint in L01 Bare Pink and L04 Bare Raspberry. So these are permanent shades in limited edition packaging. And there's the soothing cleansing oil. Again, this is a permanent item in limited edition packaging. The packaging is really pretty. It's sort of like a yeah. gold components with like a mauve pink. So yeah. it, it does suit the sort of um, coloring of the highlighter. It's quite pretty. Look, I don't, I don't mind the collection. I wouldn't buy it, but it, I like wearable makeup. Okay, let's get into ColourPop. There's a lot of ColourPop catching up. It, doing that thing where they don't release for a while and then they just vomit releases right. so last week we talked about uh the new mascara the act natural defining mascara so there's black and a brown um they have released but the brow products that we spoke about at that time have not released yet um they've also released some more color sticks. Now we first saw this particular type of product in the Lemoncello collection and now we see a whole bunch more. So there's 16 in total. Uh, there's eight mattes and eight metallic shades. They're six US dollars each or you can buy the bundles. Um, so eight metallic shades or eight matte shades for $40 each. Then they've also released a bunch of mini eyeshadow palettes. They first started with quads. Um, so this is supposed to create the perfect neutral soft glam, glam look. It's got six shade variations. They're $9 each um, and they're calling it the Sweet Life Collection. So the different shade varieties, we've got Citrus Fizz, which is yellows and golds. There's Sorbet, which is pinks and purples. Cream Soda, which is rose golds and peaches. Creamsicle, which is oranges and corals. Mocktail is brown, browns and oranges. Sparkler is bronze and chocolates. So they, those are available now. But what they've just shown as of this morning when we're filming this, um, they released or they're releasing later this week some more uh, of those five pan palettes they brought out maybe a couple of months ago. So this is the new sort of mm -hmm. format of eyeshadow palettes. So they're saying that these are five sassy spring color stories, sweetly packed in our five pan footprint. They're $10 each. So these are launching on the 22nd of April at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the shades are High Society, which is the green, uh, Statement Piece, which is the orange, Cashmere Forever, which is the purple, Too Hot uh, is the pink, and Rumor Has It is the blue. So again, these are little capsule color stories. The quads were more nude, and these are mm. colors. Um, I, I like smaller palettes, so I don't hate mm. the idea of moving to quads and quints, but I just feel like they're repeating the same things over and over again. Like I get that this they is are. five pan, but I would like to see people like compare these to their nine pan color stories, like, you know, the orange mm. one, the green one, the purple one, et cetera, et cetera, to see if this is actually necessary. It just feels yeah. redundant, but like, oh, we want to keep doing this same color capsule thing, but people are getting sick of the nine pans. So let's chuck them into five pan palettes. Yeah. I don't know. Can't and you. we've got a swatch photo here that was done by one of the sort of influencers they send things to. They ramped up the saturation in this photo and it, yeah, it is frustrating that ColourPop regrammed this 
because yeah. you're not going to get that vibrant, vibrant blue. There's no way. Look at, like, we'll have the photos side by side. One looks like a periwinkle blue, like the middle shade um, of yeah. Rumour has it. And then swatched, it looks like the most vibrant electric blue. These are so misleading. I hope people don't buy them on these swatches alone. Yeah. And, um, look, I, I kind of agree. I feel like these are borderline redundant i mean if you want a smaller colorful palette then i get it but i like this to me this is just like basically like deja vu like we've seen it before from ColourPop, um and we've seen it before from other brands and it's not very exciting also can you stop that dog <laughs> if there's random noises it's either the yeah, rain here or the dog yeah, with Hayley. Um, exactly. What do you think of the quads? Because I think some of them are pretty. Again, yeah, yeah. Like I, I like that there's two shimmers, two mattes. I think quads can yeah. give you a nice everyday look. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad they've gone into this territory. I agree with you. Um, I do like these color stories. And like if I had them, I would probably use them. But I know I would be bored of them like in a flash mm -hmm. because it's two mattes two shimmers like w what the fuck are you going to do with it you can only take it so far i think what would make me like these more if is if the pans were like a quarter of the size and they were teeny teeny tiny and you could mm -hmm. have a whole fucking stack of them and travel with them yeah. then it's something that i would like like if ColourPop sent them to us in pr i'd be like fuck yeah i'm keeping them mm -hmm. i want to take them traveling with me and i will hold on to them until they fucking you know turn to dust in my drawers but I don't need quads like this yeah. because I have tiny little palettes that are fantastic for travel that contain you know eight shades or 12 shades and they're tiny they're probably you know slightly bigger than these quads so I don't I wouldn't buy these because I just don't think they're innovative enough you can get quads fucking anywhere. Let's face it. I can go to Priceline yeah, and get a shitty ass quad. You can, but I, I devil's advocate here. I do agree that I feel like brands are trying to bring out smaller, but they're not realizing that you still need to shrink the pans because it's the product yeah, that this is the even point. though, okay, yeah. you want good value for money and whatever, but realistically, if you've ever tried to pan an eyeshadow, it takes a long time. So you don't need pans this large. However, mm -hmm. I don't think this is for – I feel like the fact that these are pretty affordable, these are for your mm -hmm. person that just wants to reach for the same makeup every day to do their basic look that complements their skin tone that they can sort of chuck in their little mini makeup bag and bring to work or whatever. So I, I, get, I get this. I think it's a good addition to the ColourPop range. Um, but of course, yeah, it's not innovative, but it, it is different from what we've seen from ColourPop. Um, and I do like the different undertones and the different depths of color. Like they've got peachy tones, they've got golden tones, they've got pinky, like brownie tones. So you can probably find something that will work for you. So I do like that more than the colorful redundant quints. Oh, what do we think of the, um, the sticks, the eyeshadow sticks? Don't Did care. you see the swatches? Oh my god, the eyeshadow stick swatches look they look crumbly. They look bad. Oh the ColourPop ones are doctored to the shit house. But the uh yeah, the the real swatches they look shit. I wouldn't buy it based on these. These look like no. cracked Easter eggs. All right, we've got a new – look, I'm actually excited for this. If I'm going to be excited Me for too. anything in this episode, it's going to be this. I'm going uh, to buy this. Yeah, it's from Pharmacy Beauty, and it's their new Sweet Apple Clean. So it's it's adding to the range of their makeup removal balms. Um, it's just mm. a different scented one, effectively. Yes. Um, which is – not that exciting, but these products are really, really great. If you wear a fair amount of makeup and you want to do, um, you want a balm cleanser as your first makeup removal step, this brand does them super well. It sort of melts into this an is, oil. It, yeah. it it just, you know, uh, emulsifies and washes off your face so easily without any oily residue. It's a beautiful cleansing balm. So the fact that they've just added a new one 
I'm cool with it. More variety in scents, I'm okay with that. It's a juicy scent of apples and it's got two mm. layers of colour. Doesn't mean anything. It's, again, just cool looking. Um, they're saying it's a vibrant pink surface that breaks into a golden yellow core. So it sort of looks like an apple, which is cool. And it's available now at Sephora for 34 US dollars. Again, I like the green one. I would try this just because it looks cute. I bet it smells nice and I know it work well. I want this to come to Australia, which they don't yeah. all come to Australia, bloody pharmacy. No, beauty. I know. Cheap um, bastards. This is the best farm cleanser I've ever used. Agreed. And I I think it's absolutely fantastic, 100% worth the money. Um, and I'm going to buy this, 100%. Yeah. All right, we've got a new release from House Labs. Uh, this is their first ever PhD hybrid lip oil stain. Uh, it's a, coming out on the 27th of April at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at House Labs um, or Amazon.com slash House Labs. Um, and it, it, this is supposed to be a transformative, true-to-you lip-loving tint. So essentially, this is just a lip oil with that pH-adjusting ingredient in it which always turns pink uh but this is available in five sheer sour candy inspired shades including one universal clear clear formula so there's primary which is a sheer red tint which is a sheer pink secondary which is a sheer orange neutral which is the universal clear and hue which is a sheer berry they're supposed to have four ultra hydrating plant powered ingredients so we've got prickly pear oil, vegan collagen, plant squalane, and plant peptide complex. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be – I don't know how much they're going to cost, but there you go. Okay, let's talk about Hip Dot. Uh, they're releasing a, another collaboration collection. This is pretty much what they do. Um, this is with Reese's. So it is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup collection. So we've got a couple of items to look at. We've got the milk chocolate palette and the white chocolate palette. These are 16 US dollars each. They're pretty similar. One has um, some darker tones in it, but they both touch on the color of a Reese's peanut butter cup. Um, you know, orange, there's some yellow in there and then lots of browns and nudie shades. Then we have scented lip balms. There's two of these. We've got chocolate lovers and peanut butter lovers. Um, and these look to be... Very similar. They look pretty... Yeah, they look pretty sheer. One seems to have maybe a more brownie tint than the other. Um, these are 14 US dollars each. We have the Reese's Double Ended Brush Set. This is 16 US dollars. So this is a two-piece brush set. With double ends so you've got two eyeshadow ends and two pencil brush ends one's just bigger than the other and then we have the limited edition bag and full set for 74 US dollars which is everything plus a Reese's peanut butter cup makeup bag yeah look this is not for me obviously um, I would yeah I would hope that the lip products smell nice at least that would be mm. cool um they both have that orangey brown tone which i do like those tones but they are quite similar but it might just be these swatches look like someone took them with an iphone flash they don't look the greatest yeah. another one looks like they've taken them in the dark so you know yeah. they might be better than they look in the photos i do really like that they've got two palettes um, because again, you know, if you're going to create a collection like this, especially with chocolate, like there's diff different tones of chocolate. So why not have yeah. a lighter palette, a deeper palette, so you can pick the one that's going to suit you the most, or if you like them both, you've got that option. Um, yeah, it's not for me. I'm not the target audience. Um, but I, I, I also like the palettes because they look like they've got the little peanut butter, like the little cup around the pan yeah, yeah, yeah which is really cute. cute so that little detail yeah. i think is is quite nice um but yeah if you like it check it out it's available now uh but it is only available to us and canadian customers there you go all right we've got a new collection from hollow taco and we continue to talk about this now polish brand because um people are interested People are yeah. interested, so we're going to do it. Uh, this is the Pastel Rainbow Collection. 
So it contains seven pastel shades of nail polish, um, but they're holographic nail polishes. Mm. So the shades are Lavender Syrup. This is a linear holographic formula in a pastel cool toned purple shade. All of them are linear holographic formula. So I'm not going to keep repeating that, but just keep that in mind. Uh, there's Sparkling Water, which is a baby blue. There's Mint Mojito, which is a pastel mint. There's Lemon Spritzer, which is a pastel lemon shade. Peach Tea is a pastel peach. Pink Fizz is a cool toned pink. And Coral Chaser is a coral shade. Uh, they're available now for 14 US dollars each, or you can buy the whole set uh, with a limited edition collector's box for 98 US dollars. It is important to note that they now have free international shipping with orders over 99 dollars. So if you wanted the box, you're going to find something else that's a dollar so you can get that yeah. free shipping, uh, which is very cheeky when brands do that, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, this is, yeah, I'll, when I first saw this, I was like, didn't we see this last year? But they did the primary color holographic yes. nail polishes. Yeah. So this is like the rainbow with it, just a muted version. And the colors are pretty. Yeah, yeah. I think these are pretty. Um, I know pastel hollows, like they're not truly pastel, but it's kind of just not a thing. Like a true pastel hollow, I don't think it exists. I've just certainly never seen it but this is close and I like it I think the colors are nice I like holographic nail polish okay hourglass has a new product uh, these are the velvet story lip creams so they call them a featherweight lip mousse that delivers a diffused soft focus matte finish with a velvety texture for comfortable wear they say, unlike traditional matte liquid lipsticks, this formula delivers an infusion of colour that floats on the lips and provides a soft focus blurring effect. The whipped texture goes on smoothly, leaving a cushiony, velvety feel for comfortable wear. Uh, it has a custom applicator for precise application. I, look, that applicator looks a bit chunky to me, but whatever. True. It comes in six shades at the moment. <clears throat> We've got Hint, which is a honey beige. Touch is a neutral pink. Pure is rose. Crush is a warm berry. Indulge is a neutral rose. And Lux is a rich mauve. So these are all available now. I'm surprised they started with six shades. Like they're all mm. nudes and they're all like light to sort of deeper, rosier nudes. But... They're not, they don't usually start with such a small selection. So I reckon they're testing the waters to see if people like this formulation. Um, and if they do, they might bring it out in a whole variety of like at night and all their sort of other shades they like to push. But I'm curious because this is the type of lip product that I normally would go for. So I'm, I want to swatch these in store. Before we continue with this week's episode, we do have a sponsor. Nobody likes being stuck in uncomfortable clothing all day, and this is where Beta Brand steps in. They combine customer experiences with their expertise to make thoughtfully designed clothing that's as functional, comfortable, and as inspiring as your favorite workout gear. Their customer favorite dress pant yoga pants are made of wrinkle-resistant stretch knit fabric, making them perfect for literally anything you need to do. There are tons of different colors and styles to choose from, and and they have something to suit all style preferences. I like the look of the new restorative collection. It's designed to be a range of clothing for all of the jobs, working, playing, lounging, whatever you've got planned. The range is designed to work with you. Women love these pants because they fit so well and feel great on, allowing you to be confident and comfortable as you get shit done. Right now, our listeners can get 30% off their first Beta Brand order when you go to betabrand.com slash beauty. That's 30% off your first order for a limited time at betabrand.com slash beauty. Find out why women are ditching typical work pants for Beta Brand's dress pant yoga pants. Go to betabrand.com slash beauty for 30% off. All right, a brand that goes under our radar sometimes these days, uh, Illamasqua. They have launched a new summer collection. This is the Double Take Summer Collection. So it's inspired by makeup artist techniques of color mixology. So this collection pretty much just has bronzers and lip products. 
So the color correcting bronzers, these are 34 pounds each and they come in three shades. There's glint, which is light, flare, which is medium and fire, which is dark. And essentially what they have is two shades of bronzer with a blue strip between them. Uh, so they're saying that each of our color correcting bronzers feature a warm and a cool tone bronzer shade divided by a color correcting stripe to balance skin tone. These can be mixed and matched to create healthier looking bronzed skin. They have a makeup artist giving a little bit of a pro tip on their website. Um, they're saying the three shades in each compact can be used separately as a color corrector or a bronzer to contour. But my favorite way to use them is to mix all stripes together with a big bronzer brush and apply it all over the face, neck and hands and blah, 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 blah. Interesting because Look, we'll talk about this in a second. Let's get on to the lip products and then we'll talk about the bronzers. Uh, then there's the Hydra Lip Tints. These are 20 pounds each. And again, these are inspired by color mixing techniques. Um, and these are described as a weightless condi conditioning lip tint with a high shine, luminous finish. Uh, the nourishing formula infused with apricot and peach hazel oil uh, will leave lips feeling hydrated for up to 10 hours. Uh, this subtle dual tone tint seamlessly blends, creating a customized glossy finish. The shades here, there's Mocktail, which is a rose pink, Banoffee, which is a caramel nude, Swimsuit, which is a rouge red, Plum, which is a cool plum, and Grapevine, which is a true grape. So essentially, these we've seen in many different sort of formats before. The bronzers I haven't seen, these I've seen. Mm. Um, there's yeah. pretty much, uh, we saw this kind of thing with... Um, uh, Winky Lux, Winky Lux and last Winky week. Lux, yeah. With, with the three colors in the lip balm, same kind of concept, mm -hmm. but this has two stripes of one color and then a middle stripe of another color. And once you mix them all together, it creates a color. Yeah. Uh, so they're designed to mix together and create the color. Yeah. So yeah. the one that probably is demonstrates the color mixing the best would be the orange and the sort of teal uh, which, yeah. which creates yeah. this beautiful sort of mauvey color together so you can see how those colors mix together to create that effect um, the rest mm -hmm. of them aren't that exciting like red and orange you understand what that's going to create um, these again we've seen so many brands they usually have an outer ring of color and then a core mm -hmm. of a different color um, so it's not as interesting and even though you know it looks cool in the bullet the thing that I think is lost about the color mixology part of this is you can't actually tweak the color it would have been cooler no. if they had maybe half half lipstick so you can mix it all together to create these shades but then you can sort of lean in one color to tweak it more orange or lean in another color to make it more plum. Uh, that's where I would have thought there's a bit more mixology going on here. As it is, these mm. are just sort of like, yeah, you're putting an orange and green lipstick on and it creates mauve. Surprise, surprise. Um, the yeah. bronzers are a little bit more interesting because you can go in to either side and sort of use a contour or use a bronzer and then you can mix in the blue to change up the the shade so that one there is a little mm. bit more um i don't know room for playing around with the color well as a makeup yeah. artist what do you think of the blue stripe um i'm oh, i don't know <laughs> i would like to see it actually used in real life because that shade of blue will um counteract like yellowy orange tones I mean, the swatches don't really look real, so I don't... They don't look real, but I I also know. I think it's a light, medium, and deep, like all of the shades yeah. mixed together and swatched rather yeah. than um, showing... The blue having... Yeah. Any, yeah. I just question what the, the point is. Um, because blue neutralizes, like I said, orange and yellow, I'm like, what, a, what what's the goal here? Are you trying to neutralize yellow and orange tones in the bronzer to make them more cool toned? Because if you are, I'm not sure that you've really demonstrated that with the swatches. Uh, they actually, I feel like they pull almost a greenish tone. Um, 
or they just look like the darker shade and the lighter shade mixed together. So that's, I'm just like, is there actually a point here? Does it make any great difference to the bronzer? I, I feel like they're doing this to make something look different. Like it looks cool. Yeah. Having a blue stripe in your bronzer can look quite cool. Um, similar to the lip products. Like why do you need to have a yellow with a stripe of brown um, when you can just have a tinted gloss that creates that end result you know mm. it's it's just about people wanting to buy it because it looks cool and that's what I feel like yeah. this is but like you said that will sort of neutralize the tones in the bronzer to make this more of a cool toned almost contour type bronzer um mm. which I don't associate with summer I associate sort of warmer no. bronzers with summer so it sort of loses the point of a summer collection I want to swatch this just to see how like is it a pigmented blue Same. Or is it just like yeah. more of a or is it gimmick? A really like dusty blue, and they've just put it in there for show. Like that. That's what I'm wondering about it. Um, also, I kind of question. Like, I'm trying to think from the perspective of someone who isn't, you know, really into color theory or doesn't really like know the complexities of it. If you saw this in store, would you be turned off because you're like, fucking what's uh, yeah, that too much do? for me. Or yeah. Would, yeah, or would you be like, oh, this is like intriguing. I just don't know, like, if this was my brand, I would I would probably not release this. Because I can't see makeup artists going, oh yeah, so innovative and clever. Like, we don't want this shit. But also, I don't know if, like, consumers would really, look. like, I feel like the market would be small for this. Yeah, I look, I do agree. I feel like this is probably better, like, okay, in Australia, we used to have Illamasqua stores or stands in Maya, yeah. and that left years and years and years ago. So if you wanted this, you'd have to buy it online, and it is currently yeah. available. Um I think this is a cool concept and for someone that has a lot of bronzers and tried a lot of bronzers, I would try this because I think it does look cool. So I, again, mm. I th feel like it's just the aesthetics of it. It's like having um, a marble pan or, you know, mm. a design pressed into it. It's just sort of a, a point of difference from the other bronzers out there. But I just mm. don't feel like there's any color mixing really going on. If this is designed mainly to just put your whole brush in it and take product from the whole pan. Um, there's, there's no real tweaking that you're doing as a consumer. So yeah, it's just a gimmick. What's, yeah. But it's yeah. a gimmick that I want to swatch. So I think it's working a little yeah. bit because I'm sort of half interested and it's the <laughs> first thing I've seen from Illamasqua for what feels like years. So welcome back Illamasqua. Yeah. They have been um, releasing stuff, but I can tell you right now, it's not interesting. You didn't miss much. Yeah, I know. No. That's why we haven't spoken about it. <laughs> All right, speaking of not missing much, uh, Inglot, mm. they've launched some Playin eyeshadow palettes. These, mind you, mm. they're available in Australia. Um, I think they're available on, like, the European Inglot site. There's no hint of them on the US site or other places, so they're starting to roll out now. But if you are interested, you can get them in Australia um, for 40 Australian dollars each. Uh, these are essentially, look, what do they say? Unique, unlike, and one of a kind, just like you. <laughs> this is, I'm not kidding you. This is, this is what they've said. <laughs> are you a fan of subtle makeup? Or maybe you have got some rock and roll soul. Uh, play with the color. Be inspired by new makeup techniques. Create your own unforgettable looks. Makeup is a playground and yours are the rules of the game. Inglot play in unique palettes, unique creations. Which one will be yours? Uh, so these are six pan eyeshadow palettes. If you didn't get that from the description, mm. because they said jack shit in that description, except for confusion. Yeah. Um, the shades we have: there's Wanna Banana. This is an explosive mixture of cool tones with the addition of gold that you'll that <laughs> that will never gonna fail you. Fuck, this is painful. There's Sheer Tangerine, which is a must-have for those who love rust-coloured makeup. There's 
preach. Okay, I I page. need to interject. Yeah. I need to I need to interject. It's not <laughs> sheer tangerine. It's sheen, sheen tangerine. Sheen tangerine. Sorry, 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 sorry. Mm, she look at least happening? it's not sheer. At least it's not sheer. Because you know, not everyone likes sheer eyeshadow. So Sheen Tangerine, all right. Thank you for the correction. Sheen Tangerine. And then we've got Creech Peach. Fuck me dead. Uh it is the a perfect idea for those who are in love with a romantic pink and purple shades. How is that fucking peach? How is that peach? It's oh, not. No. It's not. It's not. Uh, then there's Blurry Berry, uh, which is a must-have for those who are looking for warm greys with a bit of pastel pink undertone. There's Wink Pink, which is a crazy dance of sexy pink shades. And then there's Lila Vanilla, which is a combination of beautiful browns with a light gold to make you feel confident always and everywhere. My God, this is interesting. So... These are a mix of mattes and shimmers. Some have uh, like three shimmers, three mattes. Some have two shimmers, four mattes. Um, one thing I do like about these is that they're in the same uh, format as other, like the Freedom palettes. They have the little magnetic yeah, I like thing. That There's too. a clear lid. I do like that about this. I like that format. But these palettes are not great. And when you look at, they, they're all about like, Banana, tangerine, berry, vanilla, pink, peach. When you look at the colors, it is bland, 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 bland. Banana mm. is gray toned. Where's the yeah. banana inspiration in that at all? It's like the inside of a banana or rotted banana. I don't have anything to say about this. I'm just going to creature away because That's probably smart, I hate man. this. I hate it. I, again, think this is, and we've seen this from Inglot before, I feel like this is their last-ditch attempts to get some consumers inspired by their range so they don't tank. I know they're being pulled out of Australia, like the stores are closing down, and they've been around for decades. Um, I just don't feel like makeup artists are reaching for Inglot as much as they used to, um, and so they're they're trying to get like the, uh, I guess the, I don't want to say Colourpop and Morphe market because that, they're the colours that I'm sort of seeing, Colourpop, Morphe kind mm. of things. But I feel like they're trying to get the everyday consumers to dabble into uh, Inglot, which is fine. Um, I just don't feel like this is it. There are some nice colour stories here. Like I, qu I actually quite like mm. the banana one. But these remind me, this image here, the white, yep. it all six, um, that reminds me, I, I'm seeing Australis. Australis yes, the drugstore brand in Australia. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, does. It I looks know. a lot cheaper than what it should be for, mm. for the, a, a brand of that sort of caliber, I guess. All right, we've got some new lip products from Kesta Black. So they're just adding some new shades to their Hyper Real Liquid lipsticks. So we saw these released uh, two years ago now, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. And they've just added four new shades to the range. So these are available now at the Kesta Black website. They're 40 two Australian dollars, 45 New Zealand dollars. Um, and they're saying that it's long lasting, high performing new shades that don't only look good, they are good. They're brimming with beautiful botanicals, including organic olus oil, uh, camellia mm. oil and passion fruit flower. And they're made with fewer synthetic ingredients than ever before. So it sounds like it's a new formulation uh, to mm. their previous liquid lipsticks. So the four new shades, there's Glow Up, which is a red orange. There's Beauty Sleep, which is a black cherry color. This is actually a really beautiful shade. Uh, then there's Daydream, which is a rosy pink with warm undertones. And Woke Up Like This, which is a dusty pink with, uh, it's more cooler toned. Uh, so again, mm -hmm. these are available now. Kester Black, uh, if you want them. We have a new palette launching from an indie brand called Lois Cosmetics. So this palette is called Meet Me in the Underworld. It's a 16 shade eyeshadow palette and it has a kind of cool, grungy, greeny red color story. So they say that this is inspired by the classical myth of Orpheus 
and Eurydice. Oh, I kind of love it. I kind of yeah. love that. Um, so it's a tale of enduring love and loss that has inspired artists, writers, and composers for centuries, and we are no exception. We hope this palette inspires you as it has us. So it contains metallics, mattes, and foils, and a color story that was influenced by the tragic love story. Um, it's cruelty-free and vegan. It launches on the 28th of April for £28.99 at LoisCosmetics.com, but uh, due to popular demand, there will be a pre-order for the palette going up on Sunday the 18th of April, or there was, because that time has passed. Um, this is, I can see why people are excited about this. Yeah, same. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, you've got sort of orangey tones in there warmer uh, nudes there are some cooler nudes as well and then we've got really beautiful shades of green that are all very forest inspired then there are some pinks and reds as well there's also a gold and a black um yeah i can see why people are super duper keen on this i fucking love the packaging design yeah one thing i love about this like it's the first time i've heard about lois cosmetics and i think it's the first time a lot of people have heard from them because often mm -hmm. when people come up with these palettes that just sort of it, they get it right the theme is really mm. cool the packaging is really beautiful the colors they've chosen okay people might have them in their collection but together it looks quite unique I would say the first two columns are you the second two columns are me it's like half yeah. Hayley, half cat palette yeah. um yeah. so I feel like you know these a lot of people whether you're a colour lover or you're just dabbling into a little bit of colour um, and you mm. like mainly nude or neutrals, this has something for everyone and it just seems like it's done really well. The inspiration yeah. is also really cool. Like, it's not mm. two-faced. It's inspired by teddy bears and fucking lingerie. Mm. Like, that is so yeah. boring and so shallow and so Cringe. dumb. Yeah, it's just yeah. dumb. Whereas this is like, okay, there's some, there's heart and like soul behind it. And I feel like yeah. when people get it right, people notice. And that this yeah. is going to put Lois Cosmetics on the map. I think it's yeah, really beautiful. Yeah, I was going to say that too. I love um, in this swatch photo that has the shade names, the first six shades, that's a beautiful brown mini palette in itself. And then you can mm -hmm. see the little injections of interesting colors and textures um, that makes it, you know, really romantic or grungy or dark or light. Like there's so much you can do with this palette. I think they've done a great job and um, good on them. Good on them. Yeah. It's a palette I that I, I would love to see reviews on because it, it's, yeah. it's cool. Okay. Something that's not... <laughs> quite as inspiring but people might like this get your get your disney fans excitement happening uh i heart revolution are launching an aristocrats collection um so this is inspired by marie from the aristocrats so it's a bit more specific um this contains an eyeshadow palette so this is it's a lot. <laughs> what is that? 12, 24, 36 shades. 36 shade eyeshadow palette. Um, it's one of those sort of double-sided book style palettes. Uh, but 15 have... pounds. So what's the quality of those eyeshadows going to be? I question that as well. I do. Uh, then we have three highlighters. These are five pounds each. So there's Beloved, which is a pearlescent pink. Duchess is a champagne gold. And Madame is a rose gold. These are kind of cute. They've got little cat, like, paw prints. The little beans printed mm -hmm. in the pans. So I think that's cute. Uh, there's three shades of lip gloss. Again, these are five pounds. We've got Marie, which is a sheer gloss with iridescent pink hues. Uh, Toulouse is an opaque dusty peach gloss and <laughs> I'm going to butcher this, I'm sorry, uh, Berlioz, it's a clear gloss with subtle hints of pink. Then there is a mirror for £5, a pore brush for £8 and lashes for £8. Have you seen the pore br brush? That's the only thing from his collection I'm like, it's oh my freaking, god, it's very cute. It's, 
it's very cute look there's some cute stuff here um I just yeah I think like the palette for me massive flop everything else doesn't really offend me I feel like you know lip glosses that's fair enough um the mirror is also quite cute it's like a little clamshell mirror and yeah. it's in the shape of a cat paw print so you know it's cute it's just not like you know it's not giving me spongebob wet and wild excitement no. vibes no that's true all right we have an upcoming collaboration uh that has been sort of shown from Menagerie Cosmetics. They will be revealing this sometime this week. So hopefully I'll have photos to put on the screen so you see what it's about, but we don't know. All we've seen is this video that's showing the packaging, but it mm -hmm. is a collaboration with Annette's Makeup Corner, who is a personal mm -hmm. friend of Beauty News. So we're yes. excited for Annette. That's fantastic that she's doing a collaboration with Menagerie. Um, we like Menagerie. We love Annette. So, um, I'm excited to see where this is going to go. So we'll yep. talk about it more next week when we've seen the reveal, but it is launching on the 1st of May at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So all we've seen is it's called the Serenity Palette and it's got pink packaging with gold lettering and butterflies. So yeah. knowing Annette, it's going to be a colourful palette. I sort of feel like it's going yes. to be potentially quite... I think of her makeup and I think of dark and colourful. She often goes like yeah. this, adds black or smoky colours into it. Um, so yeah. I'm I'm curious. I'm curious where it's going to go. Okay, we have an upcoming release from Nabla. Actually, this is out now when you're watching this. So if you're interested, you can pick it up on the Nabla website. So these are the Skin, Real Bleh. Skin Realist Beautifying Tinted Balms. Um, these are tinted balms with hyaluronic acid that improves skin texture. Uh, it's supposed to even out the complexion and give a fresh, healthy, lifted, plumper appearance with a radiant and smoothing finish. They're rich in active ingredients and the formula acts like a treatment to promote the synthesis of collagen and elastin for an immediate and long-lasting effect. It comes in seven flexible balance tones that can adapt to multiple skin tones thanks to the sheer buildable light coverage and it has an airless pump which I love that's fantastic um, I really like the look of these bottles you can definitely see on the models that this is quite a sheer product um, so yeah I I don't know it's a thing that's coming from Nabla. I kind of hope they sell it, send it to me in PR because I want to try it. Yeah, look, I like, I love the look of the bottle. I love the airless yeah. pump. We haven't seen airless pumps happening too much these days. Like, when was the last yeah. time we saw an airless pump besides in maybe skincare? Like, it rarely happens. Yeah, so, yeah. I like the idea of this. Look, I think this is quite on trend with where base products are going. So it's nice mm. to see that they've jumped into that sort of um, realm because their previous foundation, it wasn't full coverage, but it was definitely one of those sort of setting down it fuller was, coverage yeah. ones. Um, but I think this just looks really pretty. I love the sort of um, periwinkle metallic detailing of it. I mm. like the sort of design on the bottle. I think it, I think it looks cool. Yeah. I think the bottles are really beautiful. They've done a good job designing them. Mm. All right, last thing. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. uh, NYX, they have reformulated their lip lingerie range, which is interesting because mm. that's been around for a long time. I remember, I think, before we even, oh, maybe early, early days of Beauty News, we talked about lip lingeries. I'm not too sure, but it was a yeah. long time ago. So these are the Lip Lingerie XXL Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So they're new extra, extra long-lasting <laughs> liquid lipsticks with 16-hour wear. It's supposed to be sensational vegan lippy that delivers full-bodied smooth matte color, molding onto your lips and accentuating your natural lip shape, creating the appearance of fuller looking lips. It's supposed to not crack or bleed. That sounds horrible. It sounds like cracking bleeding mm. lips, but it's not, it does, not supposed yeah. to crack in its appearance or bleed around the lip line. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not supposed to fade or transfer for up to 16 hours. 
supposed to feel lightweight and comfortable all day and it's available in 24 shades. Uh, these are $9 each. Being lip lingeries, these are predominantly nude shades because that's how lip lingeries started out and then they added some um, reds and pinks as they sort of expanded. What I love about this is they've broken down the color story so you can see which shades have a terracotta sort of tone to them, which have beige, which have pink, brown, red, or mauve. So if you know what sort of color tone you like, um, they will tell you which ones fit that sort of undertone, yeah. which I love. I think this is a great sort of breakdown because I love the beige ones. Um, I mm -hmm. would just hit up the beige. So these are cool. I like they've reformulated. I don't think I would still be comfortable buying these only because I've tried the lip lingeries and they were not good. Those were dry and they were puckered <laughs> and they were like, they're the kind of lip products that you'd want to like scrape off because they'd make your yeah. lips feel really dry and uncomfortable. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not, yeah, I'm glad they've reformulated. I hope they're great, but I, I've had mm. bad experiences with the last one, so I'm too scared of these. But I love the color yeah. breakdown. I question what these would be like because they call them matte liquid lipsticks, which is fine, but then they're like, they won't budge for 16 hours. And I'm like, mm, 16 hour wear matte liquid lipstick? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's it's too that would much. be witchcraft. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like and I think this is where brands need to pull back a little bit on the really long wear claims. I think yeah. it's probably better to have shorter wearing lipsticks that don't budge in like four hours but are yeah. comfortable on the lips and then you can reapply after lunch. Sixteen hours yeah. for a lip product is it's house paint. Let's just put it out there. Yeah, and it's not going to be comfortable thinking, on your lips. Like, There's no possible fuck way. No, there's no like, possible you can't way. Say, yeah, you can't say that these are going to be comfortable while also saying that they're matte. They last for 16 hours. They won't bleed. They won't crumble. They won't crack. Like you, you can't have both. I'm very sorry. It's like, true. It's just you it, got to pick one. You got to pick one because otherwise, like. You, you're saying all of this stuff and, you know, you're like, oh, we reformulated, they're better than ever. People are going to go buy them and be like, this is not what, this is not what I thought I was buying. So, mm. yeah, I don't, I don't trust it. I think it's a bit, I, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> I'm not yeah. interested. Okay, guys, the time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP and this week's VIP is Lola. Thank you, Lola, for supporting beauty news. And thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do so. Kat, can you hook us up with our weekly riddle? I can. I just want to also say that Lola has been supporting us from the very start. So thank oh, a Lola. massive shout thank out you. to Lola. And if that's not your name, your username is Lola78. 78. 78. So that's what we're going with. Yes. Um, this is going to be a very, very, very tough emoji quiz this week. But For we sometimes some make them too easy. Some people get it. Yeah, I reckon some people will know, they will get it, and yeah. some people will be like, what the fuck? Yeah, so we've got a snake, mm -hmm. something that represents death, so choose yep. what you want, and sun, a sun. Mm -hmm. So if you can figure out what that is linked to, go you yep. good thing, Le you are much smarter yep. than me, and if not, then, and don't feel bad if you don't get it, because I don't no. get it, um, well... I get it now, but uh, we'll yeah. explain it at the start of next episode. So we will we'll tune we'll in have next a little week. story time. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, guys. We do hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you feel like it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.